Tony's saying you still don't have the respect for him. Um, is that true? Do you respect him, obviously, having shared the 11 rounds with him uh, as a fighter and as a man? Certainly, there's not the pre-fight bravado that there was last time in, at the Dorchester, in your, in your words. Yeah, that's because we, we both shared the ring together. I've been in the ring with him. I've dished out my legs, so I've received his. And you know, when you do that with somebody, you know, whatever respect wasn't there prior to the fight is there now. I know turning up in the same condition, mentally, physically, spiritually, to this uh, fight on December 17th, like I did on March the 4th, is not enough. I know that, and I know that because I have I've, I've learned, learned to respect what he brings to the table. So. In terms of his boxing ability, his durability, his heart, his desire, if I, if, I, if I don't assume they're all 10 out of 10, I'm only going to be under, I'm going to underachieve. So I need to believe he's bigger, faster. I mean, I'm expecting him to be way quicker, way faster. His in punch output to be double, his, his durability to be more. I'm, I'm anticipating someone who's two inches taller than him, someone who throws quicker shots, counter punches. I'm, that's all I can do is just assume a much better version of Tony Bennett turns up. And I believe if that, if, if that does happen, I'll still be victorious on, on December 17th. But in terms of respect, yes, the respect's there. It has to be there. All you need to do is watch the first fight and you'll, you'll realise after the fight, the respect was there. Did you make a massive mistake last time underestimating him? I don't think I under... I underestimated people in the past and I didn't train hard, for instance. I trained very hard for the last fight. I was in, you can see I wasn't blowing, I was in, I was in good condition. Maybe I just mentally wasn't, I, I don't know, maybe I wasn't mentally where I needed to be to get the best out of myself. Learn that lesson, won't make it again. How confident are you that the injury is fully recovered and that the body is not going to break again? I'm very, I'm very, I'm very, very confident, you know. This, I, I got five rounds out of myself in the last fight. Uh, I'm already doing things in training that I couldn't do prior to the fight. So I, I, I'm super confident that there's going to be no, no injuries whatsoever. I'm going to be, I'm going to be the best version of myself. That's all I can do. And I've, I've, I've worked day in, day out to make sure that on Monday just gone, I hit training camp for the first real day, working strategy, working timing, working rhythms. I mean, I'm in good shape. I could fight tomorrow. If the, if the fight was tomorrow, I'm in good enough shape. I'm 12 round fit right now. And that's a good place to be going into camp. All I need to do now is focus on the strategy, the technique, you know, the, uh, the, the nuances that a lot of people don't understand about boxing, but come fight night, you'll get it. You didn't really see, you can see something very different than you saw the first time round in, uh, in, in the first fight. Dave mentioned that you've been with, with very good trainers, Adam Booth, Shane McGuigan, now with Ishmael Salas. Is that because it is tactically so important to get this right from the opening bell? And, and are you going to come in lighter? Some people thought you weighed too much last time. Um, what I weigh, I weigh, I'm not. I'm a heavyweight, so I don't need to make a weight, or I don't need to be. Uh, I, I've always been like this, you know. As long as I'm doing the training uh, that I need to do, as long as I'm sparring well, as long as I'm recovering, as long as, as, long as I'm eating uh, all of the nutrients I need to eat to, to recover and wake up the next morning fresh, I'll wait. You know, I'm, I haven't got on the scales for for a while now, and when I get on the scales fight night, I'll weigh what I weigh. But believe me, whatever I weigh. That's what I'm supposed to weigh. I'm not a you know some mad crash diet, or I'm not you know bulky, having loads of protein shakes, bulking myself up. I'm not doing that. I'm just eating a very very nice balanced diet, training very hard, sleeping plenty, and I'm just focused on focused on the fight.